Material management. Step one, clean your probe. Um, this I can't inf enforce enough. I mean, clean your probe before every single uh, patient encounter, before every single injection, um, anytime you're about to put the, a probe on someone. Um, there are specifications for, for each probe. Usually um, something that is a quaternary ammonia um, is sufficient and, and you know, readily available for healthcare cleaning purposes. Um, Pre-scan the area. As you pre-scan the area, you're going to be able to look at structures um, which are in your field of view that you may wish to avoid, and also structures that you may wish to achieve um, the needle to hit. So pre-scanning the area is going to be critical, and then determine your best approach. And usually the best approach is what's called an in-plane approach. Um, an in-plane approach allows the needle to be um, in the same direction as the transducer, and then an out-of-plane approach um, which would be in this way, um, the needle is now perpendicular to the transducer. The in-plane approach is the preferred injection uh, method of, uh, of utilization. Choose your needle. The gauge will vary depending on your location, structure, and procedure. One of the major reasons for pre-scanning, count down your centimeter depth. So if you're at one, two, three, four centimeters deep and your structure is down there, well, you're going to need you know, a couple inches to your needle at least. And make, don't pull out the one and a half inch needle for, for you know, something that's at four centimeter depth. Um, and then length, plan ahead, think about how long you're going to have, think about your trajectory down to the, your target structure and how long your needle needs to be. Um, in particular, so here, each one of these large hash marks on the side of the screen is one centimeter depth. So that's one, two, here's one, sorry, one, two, three centimeters down to the bottom of the screen. So this is the tibialis posterior here. If I wanted to inject just underneath the uh, flexor retinaculum, which is sitting right here, I would probably need, if I could get my needle there, I'd probably need about an, you know, an inch and a quarter needle. I could probably use a 27 gauge inch and a quarter to achieve that. But if I wanted to say, get my needle down to the muscle belly of the flexor hallucis longus, which is sitting right down here, I'm gonna need something that's longer because I'm gonna need it to come all the way down into this tissue. Okay, um, and then depending on which direction I'm going to go in. 